What's up, family? About a week ago, I had the privilege of going to Spirit Hill Meditation Center. And I got a chance to meet this couple, Bruce and Shirley Keller. Phenomenal couple. And what they did at their home was even more phenomenal. They created an, an oasis, a garden, a, a sanctuary, a refuge where people can come, sit out on their deck, and find themselves. Escape from all of the drama and the chaos and just simply exhale and become one with themselves, one with their environment. One thing Bruce asked me, he asked me, did I meditate? I told him, yeah, I, I meditate about twice a day. And he smiled. And he said something that was very interesting. And it completely resonated and it's like, ah, oh, the light went off within me. And I was like, that's it. And he simply said, I live my life as a meditation. He said, I live my life as a meditation. And when he said it, it was like that aha moment. And I was like, yes, that's it. That's, that's exactly what I do. Although I set aside time twice a day to go meditate, everything I do is meditating. Everything I do is manifesting that meditative state of mind that I have. Whether I'm out in the garden, whether I'm exercising, whether I'm amongst the people and working and just relaxing, whatever it is I'm doing, it's meditative. And it's crazy because so many of us misconstrue what meditating is and why we do it. And although meditating is a great way of excelling and reconnecting and eliminate all the distractions and being at peace if you're not careful meditating can be another escape and become unhealthy for you and it's hard to, to gather that it's hard to fathom that meditating can be an escape in a negative way And, and when he was talking to me, it was like, yes. One of the great ultimate goals, purposes of meditating, it's not to escape from life. And although we do that to learn in the beginning, but the ultimate end of meditating it's to be able to take that state of mind back out into the world it's to be able to take that state of mind out amongst the community out amongst our, the people this is easy to sit back in your <clears throat> set aside place your own little personal sanctuary and to be able to sit down and meditate and have that peace of mind in that place to be able to just sit back and think about that place and it brings you joy just to think about that place brings you peace but the ultimate end of meditating is to be able to take that place anywhere you go to have that mindset anywhere you go wherever you're at And in everything that you're doing. And 
everything that you're doing should be done from a place of meditation. It should be done in a state of mind that's relaxing, that's peaceful. My prayer for you is that you allow yourself to learn how to meditate. And then once you do that, you learn how to take that meditative state out of your home, into your community. So that when people see you out and about, they know that there's something peculiar about you. They notice that there's something very different about you. That love, that peace, that joy that you have, that meditative state flows from you. That is the ultimate purpose and goal of meditation. Not so that people could see you and exalt you or any of that other superficial, stupid stuff. But so that you can teach others that they can have that too. And that they don't have to go to a mountain. They don't have to go to the beach. They don't have to go to a secure place in order to have that. In order to have that peace. May you find that joy. May you find that peace. May you find that love. And may those things manifest in everything that you do. And may you take those things and heal yourself. And heal everyone around you. I love you guys. Peace.